In 1960s, American psychologists Raymond Cattell and John Horn applied new methods to factor analysis and concluded that there are two kinds of general intelligence. One is fluid intelligence and the another is crystallized intelligence. Raymond Cattell first proposed the concept of fluid and crystallized intelligence and further developed the theory with John Horn. The Cattell-Horn theory of fluid and crystallized intelligence suggests that intelligence is composed of a number of different abilities that interact and work together to produce overall individual intelligence. Fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence refers to the range of mental abilities such as memory, reasoning, logic and recognition. Fluid intelligence involves being able to think and reason abstractly and solve problems. It considered independent of learning, experience and education. Some examples of the use of fluid intelligence are solving puzzles and coming up with problem solving strategies. Crystallized intelligence. This is the knowledge and skill obtained through learning and experience. As long as opportunities for learning are available, crystallized intelligence can increase indefinitely during a person's life. For example, vocabulary knowledge is known to increase in college professors throughout their lifespan. Crystallized intelligence involves knowledge that comes from prior learning and past experiences. Situations that require crystallized intelligence include reading comprehension and vocabulary exams. This type of intelligence is based upon facts and rooted in experiences. As we age and accumulate new knowledge and understanding, crystallized intelligence becomes stronger. Fluid intelligence seems to decrease slowly with age but crystallized intelligence stays level or even increases. This is why older, more experienced individuals can sometimes outperform younger ones on cognitive tasks ranging from scientific research to chess. Declines in the older person's fluid intelligence are more than offset by the vast store of knowledge in their crystallized intelligence. Now try this. Critically evaluate Cattell's theory of fluid and crystallized intelligence.